and just taking off all the panel clips real quick. You're gonna wanna use the panel clip pliers. You can buy these from Harbor Freight for like seven bucks and rip off all these Toyota panel clips. Now you don't need to use these exact pliers. You can use any kind of pliers, but I mean, these will keep these intact so that you can still reuse them. You gotta buy another set of these. Now you got this off, you can see what you're doing. This up here looks like it's gonna be a 10 millimeter. It's really all you're gonna need for this. Some pry bars, the pry bars, but plastic pry bars, 10 millimeter side. Yeah. Let's use the deep one. You know what? Before I take that off, I'm gonna grab my plastic uh, pry bars. I'll be right back. One. Just two. Now. We're gonna have to take the plastic off. I gotta see how to take this off. A little thing, or a little latch right here that grabs on over here inside of this hole. I just took a little little hook pick, like an L pick. Just kind of got in there and popped it out. Now this will open up. That should allow you to access it. The goal is you want to get that little uh, little ball in there. It's misaligned right now just because it's, uh, it's f***ed up on the other end. Just kind of weave it through. There you go. All right, now that that's weaved through, remember how it goes. Take a picture if you can. You need more lighting. Remember how it goes. So, here. It's gonna go like this. That's how it's gonna be originally. Now in my case, it's broken off on the other end. The ball actually came out. That's why it looked so messed up. So you're gonna wanna take it, maybe take some pliers, some small needle nose, pull it around so that you can remove it. And then this comes off pretty easily. You're just gonna wanna pop it off. I'm not gonna show it to you because I gotta use both hands to pop it off. You're not really gonna be able to see it. Well, you can see it right now if you want. It pops off very easily. There you go. All right, and that was the longest part of this job. Now that you've done that, you're just gonna be fishing it through. A couple areas you wanna get through. You don't want it to be banging out on that glass. Now you just want to try and minimize the amount of damage that you're going to do to everything. Now to take this off on this side, all you're going to need is a 10 millimeter socket wrench. Or a box end wrench might work too. A couple of pry bars. Very easy. There's a nut on the side over here. Just going to place it there. Look at that. It comes off nice and real easy. You're going to notice that this doesn't come off right away. You want to be careful with it because it's kind of a pain. It's kind of a pain for me to get off. Now, what I do, there we go, you heard that pop. I mean, it's almost off, if not off already. Yanked out a bit. Probably help if I take off the mats. I just like to take off as little as possible. Cause then it makes the job faster, but it's pretty quick. Almost. There we go, now it popped out. All right, now you see where it's, you see this little, it's not a latch, but it's like a slide. Let me grab a light, kind of like a hook. Like it hooks in. That's what you're gonna be fighting against. So don't just try to pry it out, cause you're gonna snap that, and then it's just gonna feel funny. You know, it's not gonna be in there solid anymore. Try to be as gentle as you can with it. You also, you don't wanna mar the edges over here. So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna turn this around, and you notice on mine, when you pull the trunk latch out, Where can you get a good view of it? Hold up. All right, well, you know what? The thing is, there's, here, I'm gonna go to the other side. Pop that out of this. So, the reason you can't see it so well is because right here, inside of this spot, there should be a ball in there, but the ball came out. So that's why we're doing this job. The ball popped out and now it's not coming off anymore. So this comes out relatively easy, same as the other side. If you wanna use a pair of pliers, There we go. All right. Now that that's out, we're just gonna come over here. We're just gonna follow where it feeds. Since you can't see any little screw holes or any kind of cover-ups for screws, that means that this just pops right up. And then the cable is actually gonna be feeding along the side over here. It's like this is another panel that pops out. I'm gonna try to avoid popping that out. I'm gonna see if I can fish it through. I really don't wanna pop that out. And that's why there's this little carpet getting in my way. 
There we go. Came out. That's one side. Now let's do the other side. You know what we could do? Pretty thick line that might not cut. Uh, it's not gonna cut easy. I don't wanna cut that thing. If it doesn't come out though, I'm gonna cut it. Let's pull off a couple more of these panel clips. So that we can get a better view of what's going on over there. Be sure you don't lose those. You're really gonna regret it if you do. It's a different type of panel. Be able to fold this back. Now if it's not going, don't fight it. That's how you break shit. Not only that, but the side over here has this weatherproofing. And that's it, he's done. You wanna make sure that the line is the same size before we go through the pain of fishing that through and then find out that it's actually the wrong part. Hold that if you can, just like that. Yeah, perfect, exactly the same. All right, so you're gonna want the new guy, make sure that you're feeding it in with the foam facing the trunk. Let's see if we can actually make it in through here without struggling. They didn't? You're gonna be looking through here. And so forget about all that. All right, let's see how this works. Cause I already cut it off, taking it out. It might've been better to just feed it through. Use one wire to fish it, the other one. Right. Tighten it first, I guess. All right, make sure you got the right end. Hope for the best. Make sure that's extra tight. You're not gonna damage them. Right, I'm gonna try to straighten these out because I don't want it scratching the car. I'm rusting the paint on the inside. And finally, after your shirt, it is as tight as it can possibly go. Cut off the end. And Mother f Oh, I got an idea. So, so what we did was I ended up cutting the tip off of one of the one of the lines, the old line, the old bad line, but I taped I taped it about halfway, the brand new cable, and then kind of pulled it through, fished it through. Fish it through. <laughs> Just saved myself a lot of time. I should have done. Should have done this from the start. No, I made a mistake, and I could have probably done this from the very beginning. I'm gonna try the same trick over here. Hopefully, it works. No, it's snaggy. Now, if I can make it through this side, then the job is done. You know what, I might just have to take off, peel back a little bit of the carpet on this side. So, I use the same method to fish it through on the other side, just with tape, and uh, worked pretty well. So, probably should have started that with the beginning, would save yourself a lot of time. But, you know, at the end of the day, I still made it work, so. All right, now, all that's left is just, to just install the little ball ends, and you're done. So this is how you're gonna do it. All right, we're gonna put it here, and here, I'll put the ball in there like that, and then this guy over here. Snap that in. And now that you've done that, then you come around to the other end. That's how you break your glass. This isn't a video about that, so. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. I will break the glass. Okay, so now we're gonna take this end. You don't gotta put it in all the clips yet. Take this end, we're gonna reattach it over here. So if you remember the way that we did it, was this guy was sitting inside of here. Now you just gotta get the ball in. And the way it went was like that. You see how it snagged in like that? You can just go around and through so that it's holding it and then you can snap this back into place there we go 
Hopefully you didn't break anything doing this. It's always the worst. That's it. Put everything back the way that it was. Panels back on, panel clips back in. Make sure you connect everything. It's not an electrical cable, so it doesn't matter if it comes into contact. Plastic part comes into contact with water. Maybe it's not exactly the same, but it works. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it.